Hi, it's um, Steve from analyticsinaction.com here and what I want to do today is give you an introduction to building scorecards in Excel 2010 uh, and in particular using power pivots as a foundation of those um, scorecards um, and in this post I want to, I'll talk about four, four key things. I'll talk about, um, I'll give you an example of a scorecard built in Excel 2010 using a power pivot. I will talk about the advantages of using Excel 2010 and power pivots. Um, so talk about things like the amazing data compression you get within within uh, uh, power pivots, the very fast slicing and dicing of data. I'll talk about multi-table relationships, so the ability to um, link multiple data sources together but produce a single cohesive view of that of the total data. I'll talk about DAX expressions. Um, I'll just get rid of this. DAX expression, how you can um, write functions in the background that are really, really useful and very, very fast for um, to produce um, summarized data or, or produce particular um, views of the data which are a bit more um, useful than just relying on perhaps the raw data. I'll also talk about how you can link multiple pivot charts or tables to um, to a single set of slices. So in addition to that um, power pivot uh, functionality, I'll also talk about some general Excel features that are really useful uh, for scorecarding. So things like be able to do um, rank data sets, be able to pull out the top X uh, percentage or, or a particular number of, of the top or bottom records. I'll also talk about uh, how, to cal how you can generate cumulative totals or do Pareto type analyses um, in, the, uh, in power pivots. Um, I'll also uh, talk, um, what I'll do is I'll explain these features in part one of the post and then I'll actually do a detailed demonstration of how to, how to um, to basically um, generate each one of these views or exploit the um, those those advantages. So first of all, I'll give you a demonstration of a uh, of a power pivot. So what I've got here is a very simple scorecard built on a power pivot, and the information uh, includes uh, is, is basically data about the um, the. Uh, mobile phone spend of a uh, of a company called Globex Worldwide Couriers. Uh, so we have information on the the total spend, we have um, it's split by months, the usage type, so whether it's just a standard call or whether it's a text or whether it's a um, picture text, whether the employee is a contractor and FTE uh, with their management and all the various names. Um, so the views that are produced, uh, we've got a uh, a rank of individual spend over the time period. So, um, so individual spend coming down this column here. What we have is the rank of the spend. So the largest spending empl employee at the top. We've also got a cumulative spend. So this allows us to say, you know, the top, say, ten. Uh, employees are, are responsible for 26% of the total of the total spend. So that's out of something like almost 900 employees. So that's a um, sort of like a Pareto type analysis. We also have um, the split and spend by the time of the day. So whether it's an after hours phone call or during work hours. So this is um, generated on top of a um, the uh, DAX. Um, expressions that I mentioned before um, and then we've got split of roaming charges by location so this has a, um, a huge amount of data in the background so actually if we go into the background here we see that we have almost half a million rows of data in the back of this power pivot but when we um, actually slice and dice the data so we want to look at uh, spend data for just August. Um, this it very very quickly generates a cut. So you know that 18,000 was spent in in August versus in July 19,000, uh, June 29,000. And what we can do, what these um, slices uh, allow us to uh, 
do is it, you can actually produce particular you can produce um, particular combinations that you, of uh, views that you may interested. For example, June um, spend on calls, for example, um, or June spend on calls by by contractors, and this allows us to produce a whole range of different um, different views. And the um, the great thing about this um, about power pivots like this is that it the it allows us to slice and dice data in a in a, in a very very um, quick and efficient way. It also uh, power pivots, um, as mentioned on the in the introduction, you can link multiple views of the data to a um, to a group of of slices. So when you click on a um, on a particular slice, such as the month slice of July, all of the various views get um, get updated. So it's a um, an amazingly powerful tool. It's built on top of um, OLAP Cube technology, which has actually been um, uh, brought across from SQL Server. So it's a very powerful and sort of um, enterprise-grade tool, which is now available in a um, in a uh, free um, free add-in from uh, from Microsoft. So what uh, so that covers? Okay, data compression of jumped over over that one. So as an example of data compression, I've got information sitting in a couple of I've got a power pivot here and I've got the same information sitting within a um, in an Excel uh, a traditional Excel table. So within the power pivot uh, it, the uh, file is about 2.6 uh, megs in size. It's exactly the same data within Excel is 21.2 uh, megs, so you get a huge amount of compression within um, within uh, power pivots, and that's to do with um, the um, Veripack compression um, technology, which is which is included, uh, which is I suppose at the heart of uh, of power pivots, uh, and that can enable compression of um, up to 15 or 16 times. Um, uh, in certain situations, so in this situation, it's you know it's almost ten times compression. Um, another brilliant thing about um, about uh, power pivots is it allows you to establish relationships uh, between multiple sources of data. So, for example, in this uh, data set, we have um, we have three key tables. So we have the master data table, which has, you know, as I mentioned before, almost half a million rows of data, and it has information about the, customer, the uh, employee's name, the month in which the spend was made, the date, time which the call was made, the type of call it was, the charge, whether it was um, um, inside, outside work hours. But we also have uh, information about whether they are uh, the cost center, which the Customer belong, which the employee belongs to, and whether they're a contractor, or a, a um, manager, or just a standard standard employee. Also have, um, and what happens is that we can establish relationships through um, through the relationships tab up here, and we can link um, these t the uh, cost center table to the master table using the uh, employee's name. So that allows us to. Pull multiple data um, data sources together, produce a single cohesive view. And this bit, we get the same thing here with this zone uh, lookup table, which basically looks up a uh, the zone field and says whether the roaming for the um, uh, the mobile phone roaming took place in in a one of a you know a number of different locations. Um, so what we also have in here are these um, DAX expressions which are another um, handy um, feature and what it allows us to do is basically write expressions which will in this case for example summarize data so um, this expression uh, classifies phone calls made after 1900 as after ni hour 19 so that's after 7 p.m. at night um, classifies those as after hours work calls, 
and uh, ones before that is, is work calls. And the nice thing about these DAX expressions, they work very, very efficiently with these huge data sets. So um, while in a, in a traditional Excel table, it would really struggle to um, autofill down the, uh, the a similar function here, it's um, lightning fast. So it's a, another great advantage of um, of power pivot. So the DAX functionality also mentioned uh, previously mentioned the uh, okay the uh, so I've covered data compression, fast slicing dicing of data, um, DAX expressions, multiple um, pivot tables or charts can be linked to a single set of slices. Also um, another great thing is what you can do with ranking data. So this isn't particularly a power pivot feature, but it's a uh, it's a really handy scorecarding feature where you can actually rank data um, using the um, show values as a as a percentage of. So this is um, uh, actually uh, show value. Yeah, rank from largest to smallest, for example, or here as a cumulative total which is really handy in Pareto type analysis so a Pareto analysis is the classic 80-20 rule where you want to analyze it to see which 20% of the of the customers or employees are responsible for 80% of the of the spend again this is another um, show values as percentage of running running total so we've got some really great functionality um, uh, within Excel 2010 uh, which involves uh, you know ranks, cumulative totals, Pareto type analysis. So I'll wrap up this part one of this um, of this post, and we'll actually explain how to basically build or incorporate these features within a um, within a um, power pivot scorecard like this one here. So tune in for um, for part two.